Good morning, folks. We have some record-setting rainfall hitting isolated parts of the Gulf Coast amid a more widespread significant downpour. We're going to have a look at the satellite feed for the last two and a half days, and you can see the pop-up clouds manifesting from evaporation, according to the experts. But watch how fast they pop up in small areas. This has the Thunderbolts project and the Electric Universe written all over it. Folks, widespread slow evaporation does not account for sudden, localized bursts of water vapor. I believe these are from electric currents, and I bet Wallace Thornhill would agree with me. First, you've got to get mad. BP is getting all their documents back. Terrific article here about volcanoes on low, Jupiter's moon. Major cyber hack attack hit South Korean paper, likely coming from the north. Here's a good article on the coming Rio summit. Looking at Sonoma, we have been sans a gamma ray burst for almost two weeks. Looking at the list, we had two more global ringers. By the time you check this, the one at the top might be off the screen, but the one at the bottom will remain. These are from a 6-pointer in Greece that was downgraded to a 5.8, and the later one is from some larger quakes in Afghanistan. Zoomed in on the Greece-Turkey border, you can see that quake swarm from the first event. Moving back out, Mount Stromboli is both on watch and delicious. We had an unusual four-pointer strike Egypt yesterday. The Puerto Rico and Virgin Islands quake swarm is elevated this morning, and we had a minor quake as north as we get them near Alaska. For everyone who said terrible things when I called out the experts yesterday, remember they thought 1499 was responsible for the M flares and we showed you it was actually this region on the bottom left. Well it appears the experts have it correct this morning. Yellow and orange is the solar wind speed and density, not much significant here aside from minor spikes, definitely no serious readings. Ovation Prime shows the same, some charged particle bombardment but definitely nothing to get scared about. Yet the Fluxgate magnetometer is tracking a significant instability in our magnetic shield. The red spike here on the Rio meter indicates ionospheric absorption, plasma breaking through our first line of defense to be absorbed here. And on the induction magnetometer, I've watched this more than most folks, and this multi-frequency resonance down here is unheard of and without an apparent genesis. Lastly, we're seeing a sudden drop in the GOES electron signaling that geomagnetic storminess may be in the offing. No idea what's causing any of this. Looking at the active regions, the bottom set here is the brains of the operation, blue and red mixed together, not nicely separated. This has a beta gamma classification this morning. Up here, this active region is only beta, but its vo uh, vertical orientation does have me a little curious, curious enough to keep watching. Looking at the northern solar disk, there is not much happening. You can see that dark coronal hole up top turning away from us, unlikely to affect Earth. New active regions on the left. On the south, the coronal hole may affect us, lots of thin dark plasma filaments to keep an eye on. CMEs may impact today, definitely watch for more flares. That's the news folks, be safe.